television was mine. I got so wrapped up in reality TV. It's a shame. I'm looking at these people live their lives and what they're doing and all involved in, you know, the wrong things that I forget to live my life. It's, it's, it's a bad thing, but you get into a, a rut and, you know, the same thing and Michael's off out on the road and he's away from home. So it's like, I don't have much of nothing to do but the television. I need to find a hobby. <laughs> but first and foremost, I need to have God talk to me and show me the direction I need to go in. Come on. Because there's a lot of things in the kingdom that I could be working on. And the television is just taking up too much of my time. My husband, oh, you making faces back there. Yeah, I figured that. Because it's something that he's been telling me. It's something that, um, you know, sometimes when someone tells you something, you know it's the truth, but you don't want to admit it. Yeah. 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 Come on. You were right. <laughs> you were right. But sometimes the enemy doesn't want you to see yourself. Amen. Or the other people to show you yourself. Because he wants you to be a servant or a slave to, to the situation or, you know, what he has before you. That's right. And it gets hard. Procrastination is a big, big distraction. We put it off. We put it off. We put it aside. We'll deal with it later. But, you know, in reality, the truth is procrastination is a big old fancy word for such a small word, and that is lazy. Lazy. We are so lazy. It's a shame. And that will keep us from having a close relationship with God, being lazy. Come on. There's so much we need to do. So much we need to do for the kingdom. Oh, we let oh, we let so and so take care of it. Right. I ain't do it, you know. Oh, they'll do it. We don't have to worry about it. I'll, I'll just help. Yeah. When we're sitting down on God, right. because we all have gifts and talents that we need to be putting that work. Yeah. But. We just give it back to God. Uh -huh. Throw it back in his face and not use anything. We can't do that anymore. Amen. Lack of organization and discipline. For me, I I, I don't know. I, I tell you, I hate to, to, to claim it. Not claim it, but I think I probably have a little <coughs> bit of touch of um, ADHD. My mind is just scattering. I have so much to do and so much to think about that it's hard for me to concentrate sometimes. Right. Like cleaning the house. I'll start in one area, but then I need to move this to the bedroom. So I'm going to the bedroom, I'm trying to clean that up. And you forget about the living room, which you, nothing gets accomplished. You get tired. You running around in the circle all the time. Come on. You, get, you wear yourself out. You're like, forget it. I'll deal with it later. I cannot. I'm the type of person, I have to write it down. I have to write, okay, from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, homework. From 5 o'clock to 5.30, laundry. I'm writing it down. because, And then I have to check it off. Because I cannot keep focus. I'm just scatterbrained, and it's, it, it drives me crazy. But I thank God for different things that, um, that he put before me. I come upon a website. I will go to any resources that I can in order to have help. A lot of times we don't want to go outside our own mind's mind and thinking and ask for help. Come on. We need it. We're Amen. too proud to even ask for help. But I was able to find a website called flylady.com. And now, now that I have the tools and a control book, and she, she gives you the layout of every day what you need to do. 
come to my phone and everything. Technology is something else. And it gives you a day-by-day -day map of what you need to do in order to have your house organized. And you know what? That old word come back to me again. <laughs> Lazy. God gives you the Bible. He gives you everything that you need in here. Come on. But lazy. We won't even open.